boat over there. Now my house is the largest and most expensive home on Star Island. It is currently valued at $55 million. That's right. Each one of the palm trees that you see along the water's edge, they're called date palms and they're imported from South Africa at a cost of $9,000 a tree. There are approximately 50 of these trees in the property. The gentleman who lives here, we refer to him as Florida's biggest drug dealer. His name is Dr. Philip Frost. He owns a company called Ivax Pharmaceuticals, makers of generic drugs, co-makers of Viagra. That's right, Mr. Viagra up in here. Notice how the palm trees are standing straight up and down? <laughs> See? Dr. Frost, last year he made in between seven and eight billion dollars. Billion, not million, billion. This uh, yellow mansion belongs to Charles Parker. Mr. Parker is the owner of the Parker Pen and Pencil Corporation. This house was in a 1955 movie named Guys and Dolls, which starred Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Remember that song from the Adams Family? Yeah. The Adams Family was filmed here in 1995. It's the oldest house on the island and is owned by Emerson Fittipaldi, the Formula One race car driver from Brazil. Oh, here we go. You guys know that music? Miami Vice. It is. Miami Vice, very good. Take a note of that uh, rabbit structure. I'll explain this momentarily. This house was owned by Don Johnson, the star of Miami Vice. He then sold the house to Elizabeth Taylor. That's right. That rabbit structure was given to Elizabeth by her friends to signify her jumping from one guy to the next. Silly rabbit. This uh, next mansion here coming into view is the second largest and second most expensive home on Star Island. Shaquille O'Neal used to live here, the famous basketball player. Now his ex-wife lives here. That's right. The house is for sale for $37 million. $37 million. This house has a 2,000 square foot master bedroom, indoor racquetball court, indoor pool. That's right. And was also featured on MTV Cruise. The yellow house you see right here, this house was in the movies Cocoon 1 and Cocoon 2. It's a vacation rental home. You can rent this house for $12,500 a night with a minimum of a four night stay. And this house, which is kind of hard to see, it's probably a good thing because of the color. This house belongs to Sylvester Stallone, Mr. Rocky Balboa himself. You could be his neighbor, purchase this empty lot here for five and a half million. Comes complete with that waterfront bush right there. Best deal on Star Island, you're looking at it. And the yellow house you see here, this house belongs to Melinda Thomas. She is the daughter of Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas was the founder of Wendy's Hamburgers. He gave his daughter this house as a college graduation present. Isn't that nice? And uh, this gray home here belongs to Will Smith, actor, rapper, and performer Will Smith. <laughs> Trying to get him out here for a lovely lady in the back. He filmed his MTV music video, Welcome to Miami, the dock of his own house. Look at this uh, large empty lot here. This lot just recently sold for about $16 million. $16 million. imagine that. Then you have to build a house on it. I want to know what the cost of that's going to be. Material Girl Madonna. And the White House you see here was formerly owned by Madonna, the Queen of Pop. She sold the house to a woman named Shusha from Brazil, a very lovely and talented child entertainer from Brazil. And these two homes here belong to Gloria Estefan, that's right, from the Miami Sound Machine. 
The house on the left is where she sleeps. The house on the right is her recording studio and her guest house. Imagine that. This uh, mansion here was featured in the movies Bad Boys 1 and 2. It's also in a movie called The Specialist. And Jackie Gleason used to live here. Jackie Gleason was a famous comedian. He has since passed away. It is also a party rental and vacation house. Rented out for weddings, formal dining events, and things like that. You guys all seen the movie Scarface? Oh, yeah. Well, here you go. This is Scarface house. Part of Scarface was filmed here in 1984. At the time, the house belonged to the Spaniard pop star Julio Iglesias. That's right. The house next door with the orange roof belongs to Rosie O'Donnell, actress, comedian, Donald Trump's friend. Rosie O'Donnell. You guys all having a good time? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll be out in the ocean here in just a couple minutes. Awesome. 